Generating FATCA and CRS XML files has never been easier when you use Flying Boat Tax Data Exchange. Whatever type of financial institution you are, FBTDE offers a solution, single or multi-jurisdiction reporting for any number of reporting financial institutions. Our software is used by banks, investment managers, fund managers and fiduciary and corporate service providers around the world. Indeed, if your requirement is high volume reporting for multiple jurisdictions for your business locations around the world, then you've found the right product. Or if you just have a handful of reports to create, then you can use our online service. So how do we do it? We keep it simple. Collect your data in our standard data collection template and use our validation app as you go to ensure the data is complete and correct. So let's look at the software in action. We'll import a spreadsheet we've prepared into the system. We simply select one of our pre-prepared ones here. The data is validated as it goes in. And then with Guernsey CRS already selected, we can go straight to generate. Now we have five draft reports ready to view. On inspecting one of them, we're presented with a summary of the report. We can view the details of the raw data of the XML, should you wish. There's also a printed preview that's available of all of the detail. And then we can go to Actions, where we can mark it as ready. And then once it's approved, we can then do the submission. Simple. We can continue the process reviewing the other draft reports and our dashboard on the front page shows us our progress through the life cycle from draft all the way through to submitted. A further dashboard provides an overview by jurisdiction and reporting agreement. A micro dashboard in each cell illustrates how far the reporting progress has proceeded for each jurisdiction and agreement pairing. Clicking a jurisdiction and agreement pairing changes the focus and then we can inspect the data for that pairing. Also from the dashboard, we can change the reporting group and also the reporting period of interest. Of course, anyone who's been involved in generating the reports will know that there is much more to it than that. But with Flying Boat Tax Data Exchange, we have focused on making the reporting process and user experience as simple as possible. Now, let's delve a little deeper into the data. Now we are a number of years into the reporting process, our users are implementing our data integration module to extract data directly from the underlying enterprise systems. This makes the reporting process slick and seamless. It does rely on getting the data right in your core systems and that may require a transformation project. With point and click configuration, an experienced DBA will be able to integrate the systems in no time. But for users that choose to work with our spreadsheet data collectors, we have made the process as simple as possible. Our spreadsheets are well documented and have features to ensure that data is captured in the highest quality, pickers for standard values and choices, cross-reference pickers, and so on. The Data Checker app is a key tool to validate the data as you prepare it. Working on a live link to the spreadsheet, errors are shown and can be resolved in real time. So here I can add a city that's missing from the address of one of the entities. And then when I save the file, the number of errors will come down. And then we can address the people who haven't got any proper names. And similarly, filling in the data and correcting it and then saving the file and the statistics for errors and warnings are updated again. If we import some data that contains some errors and proceed to generate some reports, the system will fail those reports and highlight them to the user. Clicking through, you can then review the errors on the failed submissions and set about correcting them. Our data visualizer also helps understand reports and acts as a remediation tool. Here, nodes with errors are shown in red and the click through enables us to go and correct the data as we proceed. Also included in the data tools section 
is the ability to identify orphan data and deal with that. A listing is provided and then looking at the details again the elements can be addressed. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to find out more then visit our website or contact me via the contact details shown. Thank you.